Oh my God! It's fiber share time. Fiber share. Hi guys. I'm so excited today. I just am coming on here quick because I got my fiber share package in the mail and I'm so excited. I wanted to come and do a live unboxing of it, but I had just gotten off work and I was a total grease ball and I needed to take a shower and just, you know, I needed to get ready. I needed to primp a little bit, you know? And, um, it, so instead of doing that, I just opened it <laughs> because apparently I have zero self-control. Um, but anyway, a couple of days have gone by and I wanted to sit down and show you guys all the goodies I got in my fiber share package. I tell you what, for the second time in a row, this is my second fiber share. I have been spoiled rotten. Uh, I cannot even it's, this is so cool. So, um, my fiber share partner's name is Marilyn and, um, I want to say she's in Missouri. I think she said Missouri. I'll find out as I'm going through all this stuff, but I wanted to come and show you all the stuff that she sent. It's so sweet. Um, she has a little card, uh, the little, Oh, here, let's see if I can do the thing. I'm sorry. My light is so, so glaringly bright. It's either really, really bright or it's just so dark that you can't see my face. So bright it is. But she says, it's finally here. It was so nice to meet you, Zira. A lot of the things I chose and made for you were uh, very intuitively chosen. I hope that I've chosen wisely. Oh my God. She totally chose wisely. Uh, some notes about the contents. I got you the roving from a farm that I love and a wonderful veteran mom like myself that I love to support. I'm hoping that you love them and can let your creative juices flow. I made the stitch markers just for you and some other little things that are labeled. Oh my God something on my lip there. Uh, yeah. So let me go through all of this. This is so much fun. Let's see. Ah, how do I choose what to go through first? You know, what? I'll go through the, first of all, look at some of this wrapping. So I am assuming that she just drew all of this beautiful art on the wrapping. Um, oh no, don't tear. I have to show this off. This is way too cool. Oh, uh, it's a big bird. Check it out. It's like maybe a crow, I think with all the little other birdie friends in the background. And that was one of the things that was wrapped. And then one of the other pieces of wrapping paper. I just love hand-drawn art. So it's crystals. Check it out. I really need to figure out how to make the autofocus thing work so it doesn't go in and out and in and out and then I can use it all the time. But that was fun. And then this little guy, little flowers. I love it. I love that kind of like extra loving detail. You know what I mean? So that was awesome. And then, okay. So as I started diving in, I think this was the very first thing that I opened and I'll just show you right now. This is from a tapestry of grace by Melanie Parrott, Fibersmith. Um, and it looks like, uh, she can be reached on Etsy. Um, it's 1.8 ounces of um, flaxy, and it's naturally dyed targi, rambouillet, flax, bamboo, cotton, and threads. And wow, you guys, this is the coolest bat ever. Like, I don't know how you get those blues from natural dye, but it, it blows my mind. This thing is really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and click my little autofocus so I can get this up right close here. Let's see if that works. Can you see that? Oh, maybe not without me in it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Purples and golds and some blacks and some silvers and some fabulous texture. I cannot wait to spin that up. I have no idea what it wants to be, but it is beautiful. So that like right off the bat, I was just like, oh, that's it. I've officially been spoiled. I don't need anything else. I've been spoiled. And then it goes on. <laughs> that away from it and then from um this is from noel schreiber farmer and shepherdess and i believe that this is the woman she was talking about in the card um this is a humongous bag <laughs> uh it's big ash farm roving this is lamb number eight from fall 2018 and it is 100 percent icelandic roving and that makes me so happy I've actually never had a chance to spin Icelandic wool, and I know that it's one of those breeds that has um, some of the guard hairs in it, 
and it's sheepy and it feels like lanolin and I'm so excited to spin that. And it's, you know, it's very dark. It's, um, I would almost call that black, just almost black. But it's really beautiful. And then another big old honkin' bag, um, again, of 100% Icelandic roving um, from lamb number two from the fall of 2018. And it's, again, it's sheepy and it, it's woolly and it's lanolin-y. It makes my hands feel soft. It's just really beautiful. Let me show you their, their card here. Here. The ash farm. See, in out, in out. It doesn't want to focus. I'm going to turn that off. Oop. And then I'll read it. Raised responsibly with lots of love by Noelle Schreiber, shepherdess at Big Ash Farm. Um, thank you for supporting our small farm and the sheep we love. We hope you enjoy your roving. If you have any questions about the roving or would like to meet the sheep, give us a shout. You can find us online at bigashfarm.com or give us an email at bigashfarmboulder at gmail.com. So yeah, check out their farm. They Or check out their... Uh, their website. Uh, really, really neat. Neat little situation, I think, there. So yeah, that was like, boom, 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 three gigantic bags of stuff to do. And it's funny because um, I had actually joined uh, Team Knit, but I put little notes in there. I also spin, so just so you know, I also spin. I'm totally fine getting fiber because <laughs> I couldn't choose between the fiber team or the knit team. Anyway, and then this thing is the coolest thing ever. Oh my god, I'm doing the autofocus thing again. Sorry, guys. But you gotta see this. Look at this bag. This is redonkulous. Oh my god. I mean, it's like she knows me. <laughs> and it was packed with goodies. And I want to show you all the goodies. It's got a little pentacle charm on the, on the little zipper pull. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, I got sheep in my eye. <laughs> it came with this little coin purse inside that says raking it in. Here, I'll do the thing again. Oh, I keep saying I will never do that. Raking it in. Right? Made from some kind of fabulous, I don't know, probably recycled plastic something or other. Oh! <laughs> and then on the inside of that was this cute little box filled with Fill the sheep in my eyeball. I'm sorry, I really got to get this one out. Oh, oh, oh. I can see it like floating in my eyeball. Oh, come on, open up. Okay. Oh, I love stitch markers. Ugh, I love stitch markers. It's kind of ridiculous. So, she sent me a bunch of handmade stitch markers. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Focus. It thinks it wants to see my face. Well, whatever. I'll tell you what they are. I'm going to take them all off the safety pin here. So, the first one. Oh, come on now. Behave. Oh, now it's like, oh, we don't ever want to come off. We're permanently attached. I don't edit either, so all that will stay in there. This first one is adorable. It's got a little owl charm on it. It's not going to focus, so I'm just going to tell you. It's an owl charm. Super cute. This next one is a beautiful little crystal, and it is a um, progress keeper. So you can use those as a stitch marker or a progress keeper, which is really nice. And I love me some crystals. Hello. This next one is beautiful. It's got a little tree of life on it. Sorry, you can't see it very well. Trust me, it's rad. This next one has got some what looks like probably citrine. Maybe some uh, quartz crystal with a little feather charm. It's absolutely lovely. And this last one ee, has a little skull on it. It's so cute with this little bead at the bottom. Oh my gosh. And then this gorgeous little pocket charm. It's got, now I am going to hit the autofocus for this because I want you to see this really bad. It's got the little goddess on it. Let's see if I can turn her. Check it out. Isn't that gorgeous? That thing's going in my pocket and it's going to stay there. Awesomeness. Oh my gosh, I can't even. These stitch markers are just too much. I flipped for a good half hour. <laughs> just like, look at them, they're so cool. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people get me and sometimes they don't. And I just really feel like Marilyn got me, you know. 
she really put a lot of effort into this package and just nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> all right. But that's not all. That's not all. That that might be actually, that might be my favorite part. Part of my favorite part. The whole thing is my favorite part. This whole package is just like awesomeness. Um, so then the next thing. Oh, yeah. I got some really awesome um, bag swag. Bag bling. This one says, uh, it's got scissors and a ribbon, and it says, death before acrylic. Ooh, sassy. And this, I've got a, a fiber share, a couple of fiber share buttons. Burp, burp. And then team knit fiber share button. I didn't even say what fiber share was. Now, you might already know, but you might not. Maybe you're new or, or you know, just, I don't know. Maybe you're something, I don't know. But fiber share, it's F-I-B-R-E, share, is this really cool thing. Oh, that probably is terrible. Uh, here, have some ASMR. Uh. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Calming down. I'm just so darn excited. But fiber share is this really great um, swap that happens where there's like a, a thousand or maybe more people. There's a lot of people. Um, maybe it's closer to 2,000 or something. Anyway, they sign up and everybody gets two partners. So you get the partner that you send to and you get the partner that sends to you. And it's just like round robin sort of kind of a thing almost. But um, they do this, they organize everything really nicely, the, the organizers of the thing, and they match you up with partners who kind of fit in line with your fiber philosophy. So if you're one, of, if you're a vegan, for example, um, you can be paired up with people who are, you know, stoked about vegan fibers or, you know, know something about that. If you are like strictly wool, nothing artificial, you can be partnered up with people like that. If you're like, hey, I crochet baby blankets. I like acrylic and cotton. You can be partnered up with the people that are like that. And they do their best to, um, to match people up with, with people who will, you know, kind of go in line with the same fiber philosophy. Um, so it's really cool. I actually, this time around, I got partnered up with uh, a gal who is really sensitive to animal fibers. She's not a vegan, but she can't really work with animal fibers. So I had a, a fun time um, going around and, and finding different kinds of nice fibers that weren't, you know, I don't want to send her a bunch of crappy acrylic because like death before acrylic, right? But um, I wanted her to have something nice. So I got her some organic cotton and some uh, kobus, kobus, kobasi, I think it is, cotton bamboo silk. Uh, or something, cotton bamboo, something. Anyway, anyway, it was fun uh, to do that. And then uh, my fiber share partner, man, they could not have like, they could not have given me a better partner for sending. Uh, Woo hoo hoo! Cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. All right, so this next package says hilarious yarn from a Midwest dyer. And again, here's the crumple, crumple, crinkle, crinkle. This is stunningly gorgeous. This is from. It's like Butter DK, and it's from, um, let's see, a whimsical wood yarn company. Luscious hand-dyed fibers with a snarky twist. So this is 220 yards of smooth and luxurious DK lightweight bliss. 100% superwash extra fine merino. Now, I know that it says that, but I would have guessed that there was cashmere in that. This is so soft. It's like butter. <laughs> in the colorway dopamine which is awesome so yeah check it out here let's try this look at that pinks and purples and a little bit of oranges and some whites and some speckles and it's just it's just delicious i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it yet it's gonna sit like well it'll sit somewhere beautiful for a little while until it says Hey, I want to be that thing on that page, and then I'll make it. That's what I do. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then this package here is from a local dyer here in Missouri. Yep, see, I was right. She's from Missouri. And this, again with the crinkle, crinkle. I should have thought about that and taken it out beforehand, but I like to torture you. So there's that. And this is Knots and Rose yarn in Fairy's Wish and Tides of Change. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really soft. It's so soft and it is, it is 100% super wash merino wool. Now here's the funny thing, they're both super wash merino wool, but this one feels um, soft like fluffy cotton 
Whereas this one feels soft like nylon almost. You know what I mean? It's that it's a different kind of, they're both super, super soft, but a different type of soft. And I think the difference is just the, the extra fine versus the regular merino. But both of these are just, just right next to the skin. I mean, I could wear these uh, like on my armpits. I mean, I could wear them wherever, any sensitive spot. This is super soft. So Knots and Rose, Fairy's Wish. And this, I'm going to open this up because I want to kind of get a better look. I haven't actually done that yet. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Pinks and blues and greens. That is really, really lovely. These are both just... Mmm, and they smell good. They're so good. I've been thoroughly spoiled already. But there's, there's more. There's more stuff. Keep doing that, but in the marina. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I got lipstick on it. <clears throat> so this was cool. This little guy. This is so creative. I love this. Crunch, crunch. This is a gigantic tea ball, which is awesome because I have gigantic teacups. <laughs> I don't actually use teacups. I use like, you know, 24 ounce mugs for my tea because that's how I roll. But on the end of it, she put a beautiful little tea charm and it's got a gorgeous little mermaid holding a little crystal and then a gigantic crystal behind her. Here, let's see if I can. I don't know. I don't know what the hiding the face thing is. I guess it just wants to. Anyway, trust me, it's a mermaid and a crystal, and it's flipping gorgeous. And the coolest thing ever. I don't know how podcasters do it without like doing that the whole time, except that they probably, you know, edit or whatever. I don't do editing. I don't edit. I'm not an editor. Not gonna do it. So this was my final little package. And holy crap. So you've never seen my kitchen. Unless you've been to my house. Uh in which case, hi. <laughs> but um in my kitchen I have this gigantic, beautiful black apothecary cabinet. And it's absolutely wonderful. And I've got all my little witchy herbs and my teas and my tinctures and all kinds of stuff on that. So these guys are little tins that are magnetic. They they stick to each other magnetically. And they have teas. This is a double double happiness flowering tea. And let me show you. This is the coolest thing. I have not actually had a flowering tea before, but I've seen them. So this is what it is. And you put it in your teapot, and the whole thing blooms out into this gorgeous flower of tea. And so there's a couple of those in there. Oh, they're so lovely. I cannot wait to try those. Double happiness. This one is relaxation tea. It's got catnip, skullcap, chamomile, lemon balm, peppermint, spearmint, and oat straw. And I make my own teas all the time, so this kind of thing, it, like, it makes me so happy to have someone else make me a fancy tea. I just get all giddy. And this one, homemade tea, lemon balm, rosebuds, calendula, catnip, jasmine, and mugwort. Hello, dreaming. This will inspire some very good dreaming. I'm so excited. So yeah, Yay! That was so much fun. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you, Marilyn, so much for the amazing, amazing, amazing package. <sighs> I can't even. I can't even. I don't even know where to start. I kind of want to start on some of that roving or that uh, beautiful bat. Oh, that bat's going to be so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to like... What am I going to do with this, you guys? Am I going to strip it out and like spin it up really thin? like make a really fine something out of it or should I do like a slubby chunky coily artsy fartsy thing oh my gosh it's hard I don't even know I don't know yet I'll let it speak to me for a little while but I'm super excited about this this is really rad so yeah that's my fiber share um if you want to sign up for the next round of fiber share I believe that it's just um I think it's just fiber share Dot com maybe I'll have to look it up I'll, I'll try and put a link below where, where you can sign up it does cost um, a little bit of money to join but that's because there are literally thousands of people that join up and you know with humanity being what it is some people are kind of sucky and some people are kind of flaky and so it's eight dollars to join up which really isn't that much that's not even as much as you'll spend on shipping but um what that does is it when everybody pitches in that much money, it covers any flaky ass crap that goes on so that at the very end, 
after the you know the specified time has gone by and the person you know if people there's every time there's people that don't get their packages for whatever reason sometimes it's lost in the mail sometimes somebody flakes out and gets their package and you know moves on or whatever but that um, eight dollars helps go to um, putting together a package for people who lost so no matter what you're going to get a package even if your partner flakes on you which probably is not as common when you're paying for something you know so so there's that and uh yeah so join up on the next round um i'm sure you'll have a lot of fun i've had really a lot of fun the last couple times and i plan on joining every round that i can so yeah again thank you to marilyn um i, I didn't want to say her um you know all of her instagram information and stuff because i'm not sure if her account's private or if she wants that information out there but you know who you are feel free to comment down below if you're like okay that was me you can totally do that um, anyway yeah i'm gonna sign off i hope you guys are having a wonderful march so far it's gorgeous where i live it was snowy and, and rainy and weird for a while and then all of a sudden it's like oh we're totally spring now so i'm gonna go enjoy that for a little while ciao